myself and then I buy fabric paint and I use different kinds of fabric paint so if you want to know more just subscribe to my channel and sometimes I will recommend some kinds of paints that you can buy at stores or I'll tell you what I find to work the best for me because my paint is totally soft it's not hard like acrylic paint and it's washable if you paint on cotton so for the little piggy's background I use the base which is a see-through or a clear base and that is where um, fabric paints a lot different than most acrylic paint it's more like a watercolor because it's transparent the only one that's opaque that's not transparent is white the white paint so I try to not use too much white because the white will give it a like a plastic feeling so the white that you see in here that I mixed with the green is more uh, is the clear paint uh, the base that I use for to make my paint so I make a base and then I put pigments with it for most of my paint but I've tested some that you can buy in stores and I can tell you what works so yeah I'm just painting the background I speed it up the video I do not paint as fast <laughs> I just don't want you to be bored watching me paint it you'll see there's like little dashes of darker color that's where the pigment didn't mix in very well and I actually like it this way it's more like a mis a happy mistake <laughs> yeah so I'm just gonna this is like a jade green with a lot of the clear base there I took a little bit of white and added it to the I must have had a mark on that fabric or something I paint on cotton this piece of fabric is the muslin and there we go we'll just keep on painting I thought I'll paint a few farm animals I don't know why I was in the mood for them just trying to figure out do you So I have some other paintings. I have a goat. I have some sheep. Okay, so now I'm going to use some. Um, oh gosh, I have something on the background playing. I need to get the noise off. Okay. I'll get in trouble for this. Okay, let's get that off. Um, okay so I'm basically I have like a pink which is red with a lot of the it's a dash of red pigment with the clear base and that makes this pink the pink was too dark so I mixed it with a little bit of white I just added some white I don't know what the mumbling in the background was sorry for that and I just added some white until I got the pink that I want this is a very light pink but I know my lights are very bright so that, uh, my paintings are usually a little bit darker than what you see them at so I'm just gonna paint around the ears and most of the pick I'm putting a little bit of the light pink inside the ears and then I'm just gonna go around and around keep on painting <laughs> you can also follow my facebook page dm form if you have any questions about fabric paint let me know i've been doing this for wow like 30 years so i have a good idea of what works and what doesn't work and just like all around the snout so basically the whole pick it's painted the light pink except the inside the ears the snout and 
if I painted the whole body and then I just highlighted it. I also don't iron my fabric before I paint it because usually the paint takes out all the wrinkles. So there's no need for it, except if it's really wrinkled up. I do wash all my fabric before I paint on it because the stores would put a little, see there I'm using a little bit of the darker pink. The stores would put a, some kind of starch on it to make it not wrinkle too much when it's on the roll in the store. And it also looks a little shiny. So that little bit of starch, sometimes it's say pre-washed, but I still don't trust them. So I, and it also helps that it doesn't get dirty in the store as much. So I just wash, I buy a roll of fabric at a time and I just wash all of it. Just to make sure the starch is out. You don't even need to use soap. Just put it in the machine and wash it and put it in the tumble dryer and dry it before you use it. Also, sometimes the fabric will shrink a little bit depending on the cotton and the heat and stuff like that. And you wouldn't want if you make a dress or something for it to shrink afterwards. So, I mean, you can paint any cotton fabric and make a dress. You can do quilting, make pillows, tablecloths. Um, table runners thinking what have I made anything that's cotton <laughs> okay so now for the um, ears I mixed a little bit of brown with my pink but now the brown is too brown for me because I think there's like just too much yellow in the coloring so I'm going to put a little bit of red with my brown because I want it to be more of a pinkish brown and now I put too much red so I'm going to put a little bit of blue with it. So now I have like a purple brown. So I don't know what color that is. More like a, a purplish pink or a mauve color. I'm just going to keep on painting the inside of the ears with that color. So that basically was like the pink that I have that was mixed with the white, a little bit of my brown, and then the brown was too brown for me, so I put some blue and red with it. And I'm just going to put a few highlight lines in. Um, and then underneath the chin of the pig, so we can put some emphasis on that double chin there. I'm just going to go down there a little bit. And then I use my finger to smooth out the paint. The paint has like a little bit of a jelly feeling, and that's why it smooths very nice with, with your finger. I try to use like hard brushes because if you have to make sure the paint actually goes into the fabric and doesn't just lie on top of the fabric so i would now i'm adding a little bit more red to to my whitish pink and now i'm getting like a very bright pink there maybe too bright put a little bit more of the other pink with it and there we go and that's what i'm going to paint the snout with acrylic paint you i mean you could have painted a whole thing pink and then just put this on top and it would have worked as long as you start with the lightest color underneath and then put the others on top the only color that will cover this, the coloring, would be white. So I'm just putting a few lines down. So I can bring out some highlights there. There by the arms. Just a little more, bit more. There we go. I'm just still working the brown in. And I'm adding a 
little bit more there under the chin. So we have some emphasis on the chest. A little bit of highlight on the nose or on the snout. And just closing my paint so it doesn't dry. Every time I go to the top, I clean my brush. There's water up there. I use a lot of water also when I paint. My brushes are wet. It just helps spread the paint. So now I'm just going to paint the eyes black. I mostly use like flat brushes or angled brushes. And I also do the lines with these brushes. Do the snout. Just the nose, the insides. and the little mouth and here now I have like a little pot of black I'm just using a little bit of paint from the lid this paint goes very far you can definitely paint like a 18 by 18 square with 2 ounces or less paint and now I'm just going to do the lining. Um, the black that you see on it was the original drawing that I did. And that was done with a Sharpie. Because a Sharpie is also a permanent marker. It doesn't wash out. So you can wait until it's dry if you're scared to draw these lines. See, I'm doing the eyelashes now. And I'm just putting the flat brush on its side. And I'm just putting the line into the black. If you're scared to do these lines with a brush, you can also, people use like eyeliner brushes. And um, I also use like little squirt bottles with a tip sometimes. And this one, I, I think on the pick, I just, I'm just using the liner brush because I don't need any very fine work, yeah? And this brush is fine, it goes quick. It's not that much work. So the black sharp, it won't wash out, but it's kind of faded out with the paint over it. So I'm just going to go everywhere where the sharp is. And I don't, when I do animals, I like to like break up the line and not do just one line. You'll see I do like little short strokes. That also helps if you're not, if you don't have a too, that steady hand. It makes it look more like hair and realistic so, so I just go where all everywhere where I drew a line with the sharpie I'm just gonna go over it and I just keep on going oh. I should break it up more but I'm just going there we go and I usually before I draw the line I kind of look and make sure where it's gonna go because your hand would be over it so you won't know where you go so just make sure you know where it is and because the paint is so transparent you can usually see the the sharpie underneath sometimes I just draw it with a pencil or something if I don't need that much detail I'm just putting a few dashes that makes it look like movement. The pig looks a little bit more alive. More dashes. And then let's give him some definition there by the arms. Um, there's some wrinkles up there. And a little tail. So I basically like drew the little tail with the back of a brush and you can act, you can usually see the line when you pull the back of the brush and you can 
you can see where you want to go and then I just went with the liner brush over it hmm. I don't think I drew this with the sharpie so now I need to put the little dots in the eyes and I need to put also some white on the painting and we'll see what I do with that I'm just getting the white ready and yeah I actually used the white paint so just two little dashes there in the nose <laughs> and I'm using a small liner brush here well, now I went with the bigger brush but I changed my mind let me just get the I, I'm missing some black lines there I, I always keep on adding stuff and yeah and then I have to force myself at some stage to stop doing this <laughs> okay so now I take the back of the paintbrush and I press it into the white and I press a little dot down and I make three little dots here you can go back into the white every time or you can just oh that one's not good let's go back let's make sure i get enough paint there and there we go three little dots and can you see i didn't if i put that second set of dots the left eye on the inside he would have looked like he's looking skew so you have to both eyes put them on the left or the right hand side or in the middle so at least it looks like he's looking some way you know and now what I do is I take the white paint with my liner brush and I make short little lines I basically break up the black line so the black line is not so definite if you have a black line that's very dark also where you went too thick you can just put a white line or put some white over it there and that also helps a lot so after i do the white i'm gonna put some grass down there and i'm just using different kinds of green i like this turquoise green more than the yellow green and i'm just going dark and i'm just using the liner brush and i'm just pushing it up and putting it down the thing when you paint grass is don't let all of them lie the same way you have to sometimes just paint some of them the other way so that they crisscross because they don't all bend to the same side so i just keep on doing this and i use different kinds of green just get the grass in there some more grass And I only care to really make the lines more to the top at the bottom. You just want it to blend in and all be a darker color. So that's all I've been doing. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I've just put some white over the piggy's tail. A little bit more of white breaking up the lines. I basically first went down to the green because the black was still very wet so I waited for it to dry a little bit otherwise I would just when you put the white you'll just pull like gray lines over it so I'm just I just waited for the black to get a little drier and that's my painting oh, some more white lines now i need to stop because i'll just keep on going because now it's just fun 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 all the way let's stop this now uh oh it needs another eyebrow put some white on the outside for some motion and where's the other eyebrow let me put 
gonna get a little bit of coloring for that there we go so it's got one pink and one white eyebrow that looks fine to me a little bit of white in the ears and i sign my initials so please follow me if you want to see more of my fabric paint if you want to learn more i'm on facebook and youtube and it's easy fabric paint easy to find 